Meanwhile, students at Collinsville High School are back in class as we speak. Their first day of school comes one day after those strong storms damaged part of their building. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is live in the newsroom to tell us how the day is going so far. Dan? Well, so far it's going great. Everyone I talk to is happy to be back in class, even though they can't get to a part of their building. Yesterday, storms ripped away part of the roof over the gym. Water was flowing inside onto the hardwood floor. The art room down the hall also had significant water damage, with at least a couple of inches of standing water in there as well. Today, the students arrived ready to start the school year. What happened yesterday? Yesterday was definitely the talk around school, but not just between students. Administrators were also talking about the damage. We're happy that that uh, no one was hurt during the process. That we can still have school, and that our students showed up and and have faith in our school and and. Uh, and thank God that no one was injured through the process. I'm pretty glad we're going back to school. I'm ready. I've got lots of things to do. I've got lots of practices to do. Um, I'm. I was shocked when I heard the news. I, I was wondering if we'd go back to school, and when I found out, I was glad. Right now, PE classes are being held outside as long as it's not raining while the gym is being repaired. Some of the sports teams will practice at the nearby middle school. Art classes will be held in the home ec room down the hall. Live in the newsroom, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.